So, shut up again. What you have Galaxy is really talking about that you're not actually seeing this table, but you're seeing your idea of the table. So, does the imaginary, this non existent imaginary nature that is what is negated in emptiness, appear to sense consciousnesses? One question is, do Turnji, generic images, appear to sense consciousnesses? The other question is, does the chief imaginary nature, the Megu Kunda, that we're taught that's relevant here with regard to the discussion of emptiness, appear to sense consciousnesses? Hmm? Establishment. What is that make you Gunda? Which are? Seeing that subject and object mm. are established by way of their regards as separate entities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So then, is it that a very core of his presentation is totally upside down? <laughs> so a. I think they do Yes. Yes. Because don't objects appear to sense consciousnesses? To be different entities from those consciousnesses. Don't they appear to animals and so forth to be that way? Don't they appear to newborn babies to be that way? You see? This is a fundamental uh, position. Is there any place where Tsongaba says that this imaginary nature, uh, this chief Megu Gunda, either of the two chief ones is uh, Trenji? Are Tunji Gunda? Yes or no? For instance, your, the usual way people talk about it is like you're, uh, you know, you're thinking about your apartment and something appears to your mind and that's the Tunji. I would re refer you, um, uh, there's a section in here where Tsongaba specifically uh, refutes this uh, this Tunji business. Really? Yeah, there's somebody who holds it and he refutes it. It's the only place where even mention of that comes up. And what he's refuting is that the Tunji, what, what is he refuting? That, that this isn't what is being talked about in the uh, presentation of the three natures in the mind school. Just that Tunji doesn't enter into the discussion. Yeah, it doesn't enter in. The imaginary nature is uh, not involved. It doesn't involve attention. Yeah, the imaginary nature that is relevant to the discussion of emptiness. Yeah. Okay. Well, the imaginary nature, the emptiness of which is relevant to the discussion of Yongdu, doesn't enter. Do Sautrantikas realize the Sautrantikas following? Dignaga and Dhammakirti, realize that the generic image of a car uh, is not established by way of its own character. They do. Whatever. If you're a Satrantika, you certainly have realized. And then it would absurdly follow you to see that Satrantikas had realized the emptiness of the mind only school. And there wouldn't be a difference in level between the two. It's not even the emptiness in, in the Satrantikas. So, what do you see when you look at a table and 
the other interference in the imaginary nature? What is it that you are seeing? Uh, these are the two, you know, Sunzin Zetade do Trube Dongbe Dongbani Tang Suk Suk Shejube Da Jukbe Jukshir Rangi Tseniki Trube Dongbe Dongbani are the subtle emptinesses in the mind only school. Right? I mean, that's what when we um, talked about the. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you see, that's why I asked Anne Klein if she would like to do a thesis on Sartrantic. To get that from around. To learn that. This whole thing about meaning generalities and and that terms are, well, I mean, terms are not objects, are, is way even beneath South Antarctica, that, that this stuff comes in South Antarctica. This whole thing about terms and uh, do they uh, inhere in objects, and this topic, the topic of Tunji, you know, is really thoroughly laid out there. Because she was mixing this in with Madhyamaka. And I felt you will never, you want to understand Madhyamaka. You will never understand it until you uh, understand some Sartrantika. And then you'll have to see that Madhyamaka is deeper than that. You'll be put in a position of not knowing what Madhyamaka is. And that's the position you need to be put in in order to understand uh, eventually uh, what subtlety in there, there may be in Madhyamaka. There's a nice section in the Two Truths book by Noam Belden in Sartrantika, a marvelous section uh, on just this topic. I believe it's Noam Belden. Uh, or it could be Denda Haramba on um, the two truths. Two truths and four tenet systems is um, known about them. And Denda Haramba's book is Rangzen Jiten. I think it's uh, I think it's known about. Them. So I should hold this out because um, it's. Uh, it's fundamental for being challenged then about what Satrantika, Chittamatra, and Madhyamaka is. Because, you know, what we're finding out is because the Chittamatrans assert an emptiness of Rangita Dovi Shinji Rangita Niki Truba, you think, well, that's what I thought Madhyamaka was. You see? That's important to get through. And then you, next fall, we have uh, Madhyamaka seminar. And then when Madhyamaka is in your grasp, <laughs> then we move on to Tantra. <laughs> and then comes the hidden seminar <laughs> taught totally and within the realm of pure appearance. Talk <laughs> uh, on the uh, Shung uh, Gagyama. Gagyama. Ga is Pao Ga Ga. The word Pao Ga Ga. Gya is sealed. Gagyama. They're yeah. sealed and put away and people can't see them. And so when, when His Holiness was about to leave Tibet, uh, he, you know, when he knew that he was going to have to leave, this was pre-planned. Uh, he uh, asked to look at some of these. You know, he told him to, or asked, whatever, to bring some of these texts. To him. <laughs> these sealed texts, which are too profound. You know. I'd like to see him too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing is, uh, with respect to Sheriff Jensen, um, there's, there is, in Reflections on Reality, there's yeah. a section of criticisms yeah. which ranges from 379 
to 400. Okay? 